Before the dinner break, uh, we were on the first reading of the Education, National Education and Learning Priorities Amendment Bill. Jan Logie had the call and she has three minutes and ten seconds remaining to speak. Jan Logie. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Um, so again, to congratulate the member for being in the House for such a short time and being lucky enough to get the bill drawn. <laughs> but a very good bill based in your um, leadership and your experience from the community. So it's welcome to this House. Um, so as I was saying before the dinner bells rang, um, that I was speaking on behalf of our new education spokesperson, Chloe Swarbrick, who's been visiting a number of schools around the country and has been um, being introduced to um, some student leaders as she's been going around. And she's noticed the fact that she tends to be introduced to the scholars and the sports stars and the prefects. These um, young people who put in the really hard work and are doing really well. Um, and, but it is, she has noticed that they tend to be the young people who have worked out how to navigate the system and who the system is working for which is great that we have young people in that situation. Um, but there is a problem, as she's pointed out, when we subconsciously don't hear or don't seek out the voices of young people who aren't currently being served by our education system. And when we're not seeking out those voices, we're at risk of perpetuating a system that too many young people fall through the cracks of. Um, and the opportunity to change that exists with actively consulting young people. And so that's one of the reasons that the Green Party is so excited to support this bill. It adds a requirement for the Minister of Education to consult with young people in setting the national education and learning priorities for the country. And that's a massive paradigm shift. So frequently in this House when we're debating education, we hear people talking about parents, and we talk about teachers, usually in a complimentary way on this side <laughs> of the House, not so much from that side. Um, however, I often only hear MPs mention children when they speak, seek to speak on their behalf, and most of them include myself in that. So the requirement to consult with children represents a conscious change. It puts children at the centre of education where they belong. And for most teachers, they know that child-centred learning is the best type of teaching. <laughs> and so this is building it into the whole system, not just in the classroom. Um, so I know that Chloe Swarbrick is really looking forward to seeing the submissions that come before the Education and Workforce Select Committee, and um, we are very happy to support this wonderful new Members' Bill. I call the Honourable Tim McIndoe.